Hey everyone, Lee Lowell here. I just want to make a short video to show you what's been going on. Um, I was out of the office uh, Thursday and Friday last week, and that seemed to be when the big market moves happen. So let's quickly go over uh, what's been happening just the last couple of days. What you see here in front of you is the, the chart of the SPY, which you know is what I, I track more than anything else as it represents the market as a whole. But let's see what happened um, in the last couple of days. I want to dial it back just to show you last Thursday, we had the uh, CPI numbers as the inflation numbers came out of the U.S. government. And that's really what put the market in a in a downward tailspin uh, last Thursday. Um, <clears throat> so let me dial it back to the one minute chart and let's go back to last Thursday. Give me a minute here. This is a one minute chart and we'll go back to Thursday. And let me just scroll back for a second here. And that was on the 13th. So let me go to the five minute chart here. So the 13th. So what you'll see here is this big move right here. So this is on 8.30 a.m. Eastern last Thursday. This is a five minute chart. So each one of these lines is five minutes worth of trading. So you can see right here, this is 8.30 a.m. Eastern last Friday, last Thursday. Inflation numbers came out, and in this one big bar right here, uh, that all the activity happened in that one five-minute bar. Huge, huge drop. This is the SPY. Uh, you can also see it on the futures. I'm going to bring it up on the futures. But big, big, big move down in the morning. That basically is everyone selling. They weren't happy with the inflation numbers, so everything, everybody just sold. But what's what's really important to note is on a huge down move like that the market gapped open but you can see early on had some sideways action and then the rest of the day was just all bullish closed higher than on the day than the previous day that is a huge sign telling you that the market bottom may be in i've seen this too many times in the 30 years i've been in this business where you get a huge washout in the morning only to see the market completely turn around by the end of the day uh, so here's you know 8 30 in the morning and this is where the market closed at 4 p.m eastern that same day big washout in the morning huge huge rally and so that's where we've gone so that is uh here's the daily chart of the spy this is that capitulation day right here you can see the huge one bar big bar to the downside then rallies back um, we can also put some volume on here just to see uh, usually on a big capitulation day you'll have bigger volume so here's that day right here so we did have some more volume not huge I would have liked to have seen something like this where it just, the volume just completely takes over. So not huge, huge volume, but still higher volume than, you know, the average here. Um, let me just remove this here. So uh, we could have seen this could have been the capitulation day. Everyone's just getting out, selling, and then the turnaround. So I, I think that that's a good sign that the bottom may be in. You know, nothing's guaranteed, but that's a good sign. Here is that line in the sand, 360, 362 that i've been drawing talking to you about so we finished above that and now the market is gapping up this morning um we're trading around here's spy trade around 374 we close around um 366 367 yesterday let's see where we close yeah 366.82 yesterday and we're already trading around 374 375 so we're gapping up uh overnight so we're going to open higher, which is good. Let's look at the futures here for a second. <clears throat> Here's the E-mini S&P 500 futures. And this trades basically 24 hours a day. <clears throat> so we closed yesterday. Let's go back to yesterday's close. 4 p.m. Eastern right here. So we were closing on the lows. Uh, and then after the market closed, in the aftermarket hours, futures just went on a tear higher. So that's where we are right now. I think, um, you know, this could be could be a good sign that the bottom may be in. Last quarter of the year, October through December, uh, usually more bullish quarter. So just keep in mind here, this, could, this day right here, last Thursday, uh, this is October 13th, last Thursday, could be the capitulation. You see that one big washout bar and it doesn't and the, and the successive days doesn't come anywhere near this 
that's a pretty good sign that at least a short-term bottom may be in. So right now, 374, 375 as we open today, this is where the market's going to open. We're still sort of in this downtrending line. If we if we extend the line here, um, let me just kind of drag this down a little bit. Uh, we could we could be, we're going to open above that. We're going to open somewhere right around uh, maybe towards the very edge of the the line here, the downtrending channel. So today could be a make or break day. It's right right here, 375, right in this level could be could be where we'll end up will it get knocked back down or will it continue higher that's yet to be seen so this week could be pretty critical we'll keep an eye on that all right everyone that's all i just wanted to give you guys an idea of what i'm seeing on my charts